This is Seymour Rocks reporting from Down Under. I just have to report on this uh, latest uh, downing of a uh, US spy drone um, that was uh, shot down over, well, depending on who you believe, either in international waters or, <laughs> yeah, sure, or um, over Iranian um, airspace. Um, I just want to kind of bring a few aspects to this. I don't want to get too complicated. And one point I wanted to make, I've been listening to a very, very good um, commentary by uh, Jamal Thomas, the progressive um, soapbox. And the point that he made was uh, he was slightly more even-handed, of course, acknowledging all the lies on, on, on the American side. But he also pointed out that uh, there are hotheads in Iran, um, people in the Revolutionary Guard who are in contradistinction to the, uh, to the more moderate leaders and perhaps even to the, the um, Supreme Leader himself. Um, that these people are bristling for a fight. And I know from listening to uh, Stephen Cohen that there are such people in Russia as well um, that want a far more kind of robust policy against the Americans than what Putin is prepared to, uh, to do. Um, and, of course, the great danger of the, the American provocations um, and lies and everything else is uh, not just what they would do, but also that uh, the American actions actually give strength to uh, the hotheads, the war party, as opposed to the moderates who have um, held sway. And so that makes for a doubly dangerous um, kind of soup. Uh, so uh, that's my introduction and I'd just like to uh, bring a few things uh, to the fore. So anyway, here we are. This morning was this uh, tweet from uh, our own Susie Dawson and she's expressed this thought before. Um, she says, I've had the belief all along that war would follow the silencing of uh, Assange. I'm extremely unhappy about it. And she's responding to uh, this um, uh, this tweet below. Lindsey Graham on Iran, June the 20th, 2019, a few minutes ago. Are we headed for war? Where is WikiLeaks on truth? Anyone, we need government secrets now. Help! Well, precisely. If you just listen to the next few minutes you'll see uh, what I mean. Um, Lindsey Graham and half of Congress, as far as I can see, uh, they're the bitches of Israel. They're doing Israel's uh, bidding. So, um, yeah, so just listen to this next bit. Break our will, intimidate us to come to the negotiating table. The president made an offer to negotiate. The response was to attack a Japanese tanker, the emissary of the person chosen to deliver the offer. And last night they shot down a drone. So here's what Iran needs to get ready for. Severe pain inside their country. That their capabilities pale in comparison to ours. We're not going to let them disrupt navigation of the seas attack our allies and U.S. interests without paying a price. So, if they're itching for a fight, they're going to get one. So, uh, point your attention towards this. This is something that came out on the U.S. Defense uh, uh, Department website, uh, and it was up for since the 11th of June, and it was taken down, apparently, uh, last night. So, what does this say? Um, a comprehensive plans enable the US to employ 
nuclear forces in response to a variety of scenarios. Developing nuclear contingency plans sends an important signal to adversaries and enemies that the U.S. has the capability and willingness to employ nuclear weapons to defend itself and its allies and partners. The U.S. is prepared to take actions to restore strategic stability, limit damage, and or terminate the conflict on the best achievable terms for its allies and partners. And uh, they put a, um, a quote from um, Herman Kahn. Uh, my guess is that nuclear weapons will be used sometime in the next hundred years, but their use is much more likely to be small and limited than widespread and unconstrained. So who is... Uh, um, Herman Kahn. Herman Kahn is this man, um, and as True News point out, he uh, he's an atheistic Jew. I'm not sure that that's necessarily in itself of significance, but he also provided the um, uh, the inspiration for Stanley Kubrick for this character, uh, Doctor Strangelove who was played so brilliantly in the anti-nuclear, anti-war movie, Dr. Strangelove. So I haven't seen this covered anywhere else so far. I'm hoping that the document uh, was saved by someone in its entirety and will turn up somewhere on the web. Um, but um, just listen to this uh, next uh, bit of conversation from the True News team. And I read the document. Yes. A, a, a U.S. military document appeared on the Internet of a new war doctrine of the Pentagon. And then they took it down. Yes, they took it down today. And that's why I captured it last night. I thought, that thing's not going to be there in the morning when I wake up. And this this document lays out a new war fighting uh, doctrine for the Pentagon that the U.S. believes it can carry out nuclear war and win. Yes. yes. I had to rub my eyes a couple times to make sure I was reading this document right. It's like, it's like, oh, I wish I didn't read this just before going to bed. Here we go. I got to get out of the bed and pray again. You know, Doc. I mean, this is this stuff is it's troubling. We. Because it brings me back to why I'm doing this newscast. Yes. To tell you that there is a horrific war coming someday. And maybe a billion people may die. And I've been for 20 years trying to warn people that this war is coming and, and tell people that you've got to have your, your, your life right with God. This, this war that's coming is unimaginable. Nobody, the world will change after it happens. The world will never be the same, Doc. It will never be the same. We can't even comprehend what the world will be like after this war. The, the next time that nuclear weapons are used, the world will change forever. But if this document that, had, that came out for 11 days, it was only up there for 11 days, disappeared overnight to this morning. Uh, now, if our attitude now is that we are... A first strike nation that also changes our standing and our appearance throughout the rest of the world doesn't it I mean up to this point really we've thought ourselves as a defensive nation if there was a nuclear attack you know uh, we defend ourselves but what this document is saying is as as Americans that we have the right to a first strike capability to use limited nuclear weapons or who knows you know how big in the theater nuclear weapons that's right as you know, as an uh, as an offense, with well, the rejection of the mutually assured destruction uh, doctrine, uh, that if we ever were to engage in uh, the launching of a nuclear missile, that other superpowers in the world would destroy us back, that they would also launch, and it's been a deterrence actually for most of the Cold War for any nuclear weapons being used, deployed, especially in all the wars, battles which have been fought since uh, the Cold War. But this this manual, which was uh, was put up online and taken down, as you said, Rick. It's called the Nuclear Operations Document. 
it was put up by again the Pentagon. This is not just some uh, this right. is silly dog. This is this was put up by the Pentagon. And, and WikiLeaks didn't publish it. No, this no. is not a WikiLeaks document. This is an official uh, product of the U.S. military. And uh, again, it was published on June 11th. Uh, once the media started looking at this and started realizing what was in it, uh, specifically a statement saying using nuclear weapons could create conditions for decisive results and the restoration of strategic stability. Specifically, the use of a nuclear weapon will fundamentally change the scope of a battle and create conditions that affect how commanders will prevail in conflict. What they're saying here is in small battles, we may now deploy nuclear weapons. Okay, that was not a, a, it was not an accident that that document was posted on the internet. That's my question for you. So. No way was it a, a slip up at the Pentagon. So somebody said, oh no, we, we put that nuclear warfare plan up on the line. No, it was placed there on purpose for Russia, China, Iran, North Korea, and everybody else to read it because the United States was telling the whole world, our new military doctrine is to we'll use nukes. We'll nuke you. Which is so interesting because around the time of this being published, this is actually the time the St. Petersburg International Economic Forum was going on. And it's around the time that Russia's president, Vladimir Putin, said that if the United States continues to try to step out of nuclear, you know, nuclear uh, weapon development, that the nukes would find their way into space. That space would now be a battleground, a place where launchers and nuclear missiles will be placed for future wars. What, what interesting. So there we are. All of this uh, is extremely, extremely alarming. Um, and I just don't recognize the world in which we live in. Um, there's lots of speculation, kind of people are saying, oh, this, nothing's going to happen, there's going to be no war. The people are going to say, oh, there's been going to be war tomorrow and so forth. I think that the, probably the, um, uh, the, uh, the truth is somewhere halfway between somehow and we're just going to see a ratcheting up ratcheting up we're going to see more and more incidents like this and finally um yeah it's inevitable there's going to be a shooting war and uh judging from what i've just shown you it could easily use um lead to the use of tactical nukes and then who knows where it could go from there anyway on that uh, note I'll leave it for now. Seymour Rocks reporting from Down Under.